Hello again, this is Brian Cummings from Unknown Worlds Entertainment, and I'm working on a series of videos that uh, is explaining how to export custom models and use for the uh, Spark tools. Uh, in this particular video, we're going to be creating a model compile file and a material file, and then we're going to, s hopefully if everything works, we should be able to start seeing my new model in, um, in the viewer. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, first thing we need to do, uh, I'm just going to run Notepad real quick. So I'll start a brand new Notepad file. And let's go ahead and save this as gorgles.model underscore compile. And it's very important to change the save as type to just a blank type, otherwise it'll be like gorgles.model underscore compile.txt, which is not going to work. So uh, now that we have that entered, just go ahead and save it, and we can see in our source file it, it has that, and um, well, it hasn't built anything yet. Uh, let's see, do I still have Builder running yet? So no geometry file was specified. Well, that's because we haven't done anything yet. So here we just need to add a line, just one single line called geom. Oh, that's the p. Geometry, geometry, geometry. <laughs> and then in quotes we are going to add gorgles. Dot dae end quote. And there we go. Let's go ahead and save that. And there we go. Auto build gorgles. Model. Perfect. So we're going to open up. Launchpad again and open up Viewer. And since we have Brian Mod selected, it should be able to find our model really easily. So I'm going to go back to my desktop and find Brian Mod, my output folder. Gorgles. Oh, there we go. Gorgles.model. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Really blown out. Um, let's just switch it to Albedo for now. And you can see it's doesn't have any texture applied to it. Um, that's because we haven't created a material file yet. You can see right here, it could not open models alien gorgles, gorgles.material, or gorglesmist.material. And the reason it knows the right names for these materials that I'm going to be creating in a minute is because uh, when you export a file from 3D Studio Max, it looks for the name of the, um, the Photoshop file here, like the gorgles.psd, and, and that is going to, that's what it's going to expect the name of the material file to be. So that's why it's really important to keep your naming convention nice and tight. I have all of these things named, you know, using a, a very specific naming convention. My max file, my uh, main PSD file, and my DAE file are all using the same just basic Gorgles name. Um, and we're also, so yeah, we, I need to now create a new, I'm um, just going to actually, I'm going to open up this model compile file and clear it out. And now I need to save that out as a gorgles.material file. Again, change that to nothing. And save that. And now it's generated a material file here. It's generated a material file here. Um, builder automatically built that, and well, it's still blank because it can't find any because I didn't enter anything yet. Okay, so now that we've got our material, we're going to type in. I'm just going to type it in. You can just probably copy and paste this from the help guide, I believe, on the wiki. Um, but let's do this. Map type map type equals extra. Value equals, and we're gonna have models alien, alien, gorgles, gorgles dot psd, oh no, wait, dot dds, and then end it with that. And let's have a few more map types here. I think, yeah, just need four. Uh, next one is gonna be a bump. It is bump, not bump. All right, next one's going to be Specular. And the last one is Emissive. I really hope I 
spelt that. I missed it right. Oh, I think I did. All right, so then we need to do um, normal. This is going to find my normal map, and it's going to apply it as a map type bump here. Um, this one's called spec, which is going to be my specular map. And this one is going to be a loom, which is going to be my emissive map. So now that I have all of those textures entered in, those are my different map types. We should close out maps here. And um, I also need another thing here called properties. Properties. Uh, and then we're going to need a property type. Type can type I swear. Um, that's going to be surface, and this is just going to tell the game what surface type this particular material is supposed to be. And since these are really squishy, the value is going to equal um, organic. And I think there's uh, yeah, there's a few different surface types. Um, most common one is metal. There's also light metal, um, electric, rock, and glass and door. Uh, door has its own material type for whatever reason, but uh, we'll go ahead and close properties here, and then we can close material, and we're actually, that's all we need. So let's save, and if I didn't have any typo, actually yeah, I do have a lot of typos here, I need end quotes for these guys, and da -da 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 -da, looks good. Alright, so save, and okay being used by another process. Oh, because I have viewer open, so we'll close that. Seems weird. Uh, let's try it again. Save. Material. Done. Awesome. Let's open up viewer again and see what happened. Excuse me. Um, gorgles. Bam. Check that out. We got a gorge material. Totally working. Uh, um, I also have to do the same thing for the packs, so we're actually just going to save this as gorgles underscore mist, because that's the name of that extra texture I have, and I'm going to save that material out. You can see it automatically updated with the gorge material. That's because all of these on this gorgles mist material file are all still named gorgles, which is the wrong material type. We're going to add underscore misc to all of these. Boop, 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 boop. And save. There we go. Now we're talking. Um, awesome. So I think that's actually it for this video. Uh, as you can see, we have success. And if you are having trouble with this, um, please check the forum for help. Or if you need additional help, you can always email me at brian at unknownworlds.com. And uh, I might be able to answer your questions. So thanks for listening. Uh, I think the next video is going to be about uh, custom physics models. And then uh, we'll also be doing custom animations. So uh, that's it for now.